the three judge appeals panel's decision to uh, keep the lockout in place is a big step for the owners, and it's a big win for the owners. What it means now is that uh, nothing is likely to happen before the full appeal is heard on uh, June 3rd, and beyond that, nothing may happen for a few weeks after that while the appeals panel decides whether it's going to let the lockout stand. And it looks like from what this decision was and the fact that it's the same panel that will make the ultimate decision that this lockout will be ruled to be legal. And that's again going to be another big victory for the owners. The players are in a hard spot now because they really don't have any recourse but to wait and hope that the appeal is uh, overturned and that the lockout is overturned. Meanwhile, the owners can just let things sit dead in the water because this, this is exactly what they want. That's why they locked out the players. Uh, the players may have to negotiate a little more strongly now toward a settlement than they really plan to. No, they're not losing any money right now, most of them at least, because they don't get paid until close to the season or the season actually begins. However, they no longer have uh, the leverage. The players are uh, kind of at the mercy of the owners right now who have all the leverage. Uh, what's happened now is it becomes even more of a delay game, and because of that, training camps are now in danger. Uh, if we don't get any sort of ruling till the end of June, and then the ruling is to keep the NFL's lockout in place, that means the owners really have what they want again, and there's no reason for serious negotiations on their part, which means the players would have to maybe back down even more. That's going to imperil training camps, and that means the preseason games could be imperiled. And remember, the players don't get paid during the preseason games, but the owners make a lot of money off of it.